All right, SHOT Show 2020 coverage continues with Bryce Gerard from Columbia River Knife and Tool. Bryce is, uh, what do you do at CRKT? I'm a sales manager, but I also do a lot of our trade shows. I design this booth and awesome. make sure all this stuff arrives. It's, yeah, that's cool. what I do. Cool beans. Well, how about you uh, walk us through all the new product for this year? No and we'll take a look at everything. Yeah, so we've had a really cool year. Um, last year we had a big success, the Provoke, the CEO just really, really selling well and really kind of captured uh, the attention of the knife community. So that was really exciting. We have a lot of really cool stuff with some of our best designers this year. I'd say one of the ones I was more excited about, this is the Lucas Burnley Tuna. Lucas is obviously very well known in our community. He does the Squid, which is one of my favorite EDC blades. And this Tuna, I really like the design and what he did with this. He really did take a lot of inspiration from the Bluefin Tuna that they fish for up in Massachusetts where he lives. And uh, you can see that kind of swelling design forward, a powerful animal and it's a powerful knife. You get a whole lot of blades too in a really compact package. I like how small the handle is. It fits really well in the hand. Real simple opener too with that thumb stud. Really flicks open real nice. Cool color kind of uh, scheme here with the copper backspacer and a little O-ring around the pivot and the green G10 up front. Really cool and pretty knife. On the back, we have a deep carry pocket clip, metal on metal, so it's in and out of the pocket really easily. Simple frame lock for easy closure. This really exemplifies a lot of what Burnley does, and I'm always excited to have more Burnley products. Another cool one that we have from Lucas Burnley, this is a sketch. So this is actually a replay. We did a sketch a couple years ago. We thought we could get more out of the design and there was more to see, and I really like what we did with this one. We went to an all stainless steel scale set up here light green touches around the pivot and around the back spacer. And really, this is kind of like a larger squid. If you look at the squid, you can see the sort of similarities in that round shape. That really just fits in the hand well. So if you see something that's a little bit bigger, a little bit more utility than the squid, this might be a really good option for you. Real simple opener too, with the thumb hole on the front. I really like the way this opens. And it's got sort of a K-tip design here, taking from a Japanese sort of kitchen knife design. The K-tip or modified Warren Cliff, if you want to call it that. Really functional, beefs up the tips. You're much, le much less likely to break your tip off. You still have plenty of belly on that knife for functional cutting. Just a really good all-around EDC if you need something a little bit bigger than the sketch. What's the MSRP on that? MSRP on that's $39.99. Cool. That's what we do. We like to bring, you know, the highest end knife designers. We like to take their designs, bring them to market something that's affordable. Anybody can afford. And that's pretty cool. You can get a Lucas Burnley. $39.99 any day. So really excited about that one. I'm gonna move on to Richard Rogers. So if you guys remember the CEO from last year, that's a Richard Rogers design based off his executive. This is the Inara. It's a little bit smaller of a design. Again, it's like a small knife. That's really what I find I like when an everyday carry. It's really small, lightweight because of the G10 on one side, steel liner on the other. But he designed this, he started with a curve along the top and a flat line. And then he just kind of put his own flair of design. Richard has got just a real eye for, for aesthetics, clean, simple, and functional. I love the way that the CEO opened. It had great angles, it really snapped open. A lot of people thought it was assisted. And this little Inara has got the same thing. It really builds up a little bit of pressure there. The blade flies open. But really thin up top, it's really slicey. I find a lot of my cutting nowadays is more office based and a little slicey blade like this is cut through fruit and office supplies, no problem. So that's the Inara. What's the MSRP on that? $64.99. Did, we, did you skip over the fixed blade? Oh, you want me to do them all? Sure. Yeah. I mean, if, if it's new, let's cover it. Sure. Let's go back to Lucas Burnley. A lot of people might recognize this as a lot of similarities towards his Obaki, which we came out a couple years ago. This is what we're calling the Nishi. Nishi in Japanese means West. And you can see that this is obviously a very clear melding of Japanese design and, uh, and uh, kind of modern Bowie, like American Bowies. So you got that American Bowie tip here, and this design up here sort of recreates a Japanese technique called, is, called Hamon, where they would put clay over the top of their blades when they're heat, heating them, heat treating them. So you'd have softer steel up top with a firmer steel on the bottom, which would give it a lot more strength. This is a paracord wrapped uh, resin infused handle, which gives awesome grip. And if you look in the detail, we have a faux ray skin underneath. A little bit bigger than the Obaki, a little bit more of that kind of utility, 
a very similar pocket, uh, a very similar sheath carry. But I really like this design. The American Bowie obviously is a great all-arounder. Um, Lucas did a really cool job here, melding two very different cultural designs into one. That's the Nishi. There, MSRP on that, $79.99. We'll go back to Richard Rogers. This is the Montosa. It's based off his Mutt design, the medium utility knife. Um, kind of right there in that medium uh, size point there. This is all polished G10, which gives a great balance of aesthetic as well as grip. Uh, modified sheep's foot design there. Uh, really functional blade. I love the, the opening on that. Really simple off the thumb stud. Nice little hint of purple there. Just a little taste of it. I really like that. Just a little lip gloss to bring a little character to it. Really deep carry pocket clip on the back with two smooth designs. Again, in and out of the pocket really simply. Really cool medium sized knife from Richard Rogers, which was a good play on the smaller design of the CEO. So a little bit more functional if you need something that's a little bit heavier in your EDC. You might check out the Montosa. So Eric Oaks is a designer we've been working a lot more with lately, especially because he's he lives right down the street from us in Oregon. So this is what we're calling the APOC. It's a real big knife that he kind of designed for after the apocalypse. I really like the sort of hammered raw looking design on there. It really matches a lot of his custom work. Um, really large and a really great opener. We have this knife on our IKBS ball bearing opening system, which just makes it really smooth. The weight of the blade helps a lot as well, but just a really big, heavy use knife. Um, really heavy duty, you're not gonna really ever test this knife. Really smooth in and out, fidgety, fun to play with. It goes back into the back into its uh, home real simply. G10 on both sides, excellent grip. Frame lock on that side. It's kind of hidden under the G10. Just a really cool design by uh, Eric Oaks. MSRP is on that is $89.99, and we also have one with Beth Serrations if you want one with uh, Serrations. It's out there as well. We also have the Shehalem by Eric Oaks. Really cool hammer design. Eric's uh, used to actually collects hammers. It was something he used to do with his grandpa going through different garage sales and, and stores just looking for old hammers. So what we did there, we put that kind of hammer pitted design on there. And this sort of uh, upswept design is a real staple in his, uh, his roster of custom designs. Uh, really simple to open from both sides. The Shehalem's just a fun little, little uh, re really good point there. So for penetrating cuts, it's, it's got it. Whole lot of belly on that blade makes it really functional. Just a really cool little classic looking small design. Deep carry pocket clip. I love it when the clip goes above the frame. That's, uh, that's a good way to get me to buy a knife is put that design right up above there. So really cool little functional design. Last year, another really cool design we came out with Eric was the uh, the Avant, which had carbon fiber and cool color touches. This is more of a tactical version of that. And you can see it with the heavy G10, a much thicker blade up front. It's a really heavy working blade where the Avant was more of a gentleman's carry, a little bit more on the aesthetic side. This is its kind of harder working brother. You see the larger size, also has our IKBS ball bearing system. So it opens super smooth with that flipper or through the to the thumb hole. Just a really exciting design. Um, I, I really like working with Eric. He's a really nice guy and he's always in our office, so we get to see him a lot more than most designers. Um, but that's the Avant Tac right there. MSRP is $79.99. Next, we're going to be moving into RMJ Designs. RMJ Designs is a really cool house. They come out with a lot of tactical axes, really uh, functional tactical designs and we've been working with them for a long time a lot of our tactical axes you see that RMJ logo on there this is the Gulf so the Gulf is a really large folder kind of more of a traditional Bowie design super heavy G10 on the front just a really big hefty working knife from RMJ all that really heavy G10 on there it gives you excellent grip if you have bigger hands you'll have plenty of real estate um, left or right handed carry on the pocket clip that goes above the handle or the frame, excuse me, which is a great idea. I love how the knife kind of 
curves forward too and wants to go towards the cut, which allows for more ergonomics. I really like that since it's kind of untraditional to hold a knife sort of forward. This helps you kind of guide towards the cut and gives you a little bit more control over your cutting edge. And it's just one of the best sounding knives. When you have a big knife like that, it really talks to you. So this golf, you're gonna always know when it's open. That's a lot larger than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Something I don't usually hear, but you know. Oh man. Yeah, it's just a real big beefy knife and I've got these little medium sized paws so it's a little it looks a little bit daunting in my hands. Yeah. But you know there's these guys out there that have just big old hands and oh, yeah. that might be the knife for you. Yeah. Is that golf retails at ninety nine ninety nine? We'll go from big to small. We go from the golf to the owlet. So this is a, kind of a smaller neck knife that RMJ came out with. Um, uh, just a real kind of rudimentary neck knife. I think it's actually going to be really good for wrapping if you want to paracord wrap it. But this sort of thicker thickness to the back really fits in the hand well. It gives you good control over the cutting edge, kind of along the line of our Minimalist series, if you're familiar with that. Um, but this is just sort of more broken down, deconstructed. Uh, it's also got a bottle opener in there, because why not? And uh, that's pretty cool, a little paracord wrap. Comes with a real simple Kydex sheet that goes around your, your neck. And um, yeah, just a real kind of simple, everyday carry neck knife. We're really well known for our neck knife, so this was an exciting addition. The Owlet retails for $34.99, so it's very affordable, really simple. Next from RMJ, this is the Utsadihi. So Utsadihi is a term from a local Native American uh, tribe that where RMJ is uh, headquartered, and it means young warrior. So this was meant to be sort of a light, fast, everyday use uh, fixed blade. And you can see it, very simple with that paracord wrap, which you could customize to your liking. If you need to bulk it up, you can. It comes with a simple sheath uh, that comes with a really cool belt loop as well. So it's a really simple, it can be carried at all angles, and it's really comfortable to carry. Uh, Do you so, have the sheath in uh, Making life difficult for you. I made life difficult on myself there. But here's a sheath, so you can see that really simple loop will go around your belt. And I like it when it's a little bit more free, when you're bending down and you're moving. If you have a fixed blade that's kind of stuck there, you're going to feel it. But this sort of allows it to be a bit more organic and kind of move with you. But if you prefer to carry it other ways, you can put that on a tech lock and mount it whatever way you want on a molly setup, on your belt, ranger style, however you like to carry your fixed blades. So just a really cool, simple fixed blade from RMJ. That's the Utsadihi. A final option here, this uh, from RMJ, this is a Jenny Ren Compact, just a real small, tactical. He kind of themed this more for an outdoor use, small tomahawk. All the edges are sharpened on here, so you have a scraper along the top edge, you have your main kind of cutting edge up front, and all sorts of different hooks and edges to utilize. Uh, comes with a more tactical sheath, let me get that. We got this full, uh, full kind of mountable sheath. So whatever way you like to mount it, you can find a way to do that. It goes in real simply, and uh, it's got a cord if you want to connect it in here to make sure it doesn't come out. But however you want to carry it, you can mount it that way. We've been doing a lot for a long time with RMJ with these small tactical tomahawks, and so this is just a smaller option. Great little thing you could tack to the outside of your backpack if you're going backpacking, um, or if you want to put it on your kit and use it as a breaching tool, it would work well as that as well. So that's a Jenny Ren Compact coming in at $135. Let's go to the other side. We're going to go on to Jesper Voxnes, uh, one of our more popular designers. I'm sure you're familiar with the Pilar. That was one of his designs. This is called the Peat. Um, something I love about Jesper's uh, kind of designs is they're really simple but functional. And I really think he nailed it with this one. Really small, lightweight design. Uh, this is all glass reinforced nylon. Um, it's extremely light. It's got a liner lock on the inside. Um, real simple. And I, I like the, the blade shape is really good. It's functional. You have enough of a tip here to work it. Really good if you need to choke up and do a little bit more detail work. Um, and I love how the handle too is a little bit bulked up. So you can see it's got a little bit of an egg shape here, so it fits really well in your hand. Even though it's a smaller knife, you get a great traction on there. Blue back spacer gives it a little bit of character and super deep carry pocket clip. So just a really functional knife. 
He designed this in actually our Portland airport after he came out to visit us one time. He wanted to make a knife that somebody in Portland could carry just everywhere. And I think he did a really good job with this. Left and right-handed carry for all you lefties out there. You can carry this knife. Um, and I've been seeing a lot of people around the CRKT office carrying this little Pete. Uh, it comes in at $44.99, so it's also a really good value. Uh, just another really good get valued yes for knife. Speaking of the Pilar, we've uh, we've done, there's a couple different models out there. People put their own scales on there. It's really cool how people customize this knife. I love to see it. I keep uh, any of those customized designs I can find online. I keep them in a folder. It's really cool to see how people take these and make them their own. So what we did is we actually came out with a Pilar with a raw copper scale right off the bat. This copper will age and patina as you use it. It'll change as it gets wet and sits in your pocket. Um, we did a limited run a while back as a copper squid. I got one of those and it's really cool to see it turn green and patina in different ways. So um, it's a really cool if you're gonna be taking your pocket dump pictures and you wanna match up with your copper loadout, this would be a great way to do it. And get in there with a copper scale right off the front. So the little Pilar has just been a great knife, a little big knife little knife of big utility giving you a great grip and just comes in at a great value as well. So we're excited to offer a different scale on the floor. Uh, coming in at $54.99 for that model right there. Moving on to another one of our more popular designers, TJ Schwartz. This is the Overland. TJ has been uh, an avid uh, Overland junkie for the last uh, couple years. So he wanted to design a knife that he could carry with him at all times and could do anything from cutting rope, things in utility knife needs on the on the move. And then when he gets to camp, something that he could also use as sort of more of a culinary function. He got a lot of his inspiration for this from a bread knife. And you can see how the knife blade sits lower than the handle, which is not just good just for um, kind of kitchen work, but it's just generally in the utility that it just allows you for more utility and keeps the blade in a really good place. It gives you a great grip and traction on the on the handle. Solid, really aggressive jimping on top. Really good control. Um, reinforced tip up front, so you won't be breaking that. And really just nice aesthetics. I love the green with the orange copper kind of look there. But really excited to have a have another design from um, from TJ. Uh, really simple frame lock on the back smooth metal on metal for the pocket clips. It'll go in and out of your pocket really simply. Just a really good EDC design. Uh, something you can carry all the time and handle just about anything you can throw at it. And that's the Overland retailing at uh, $54.99. This is another TJ design, the Thero. So a little bit more of a aesthetic. I think what TJ really brings to us is a, a design perspective that came from outside of the knife world. He worked a lot in automotive design. So you can see just really long sweeping designs. And you can see that here, with the long angles that come off the blade, a little carbon fiber underneath the scale there, and just a little hint of red around the pivot. Kind of reminiscent of some of the other designs we've done with him. This is just a real simple kind of everyday carry, flipper option up front. Simple pocket clip on the back, sort of that kind of webbed look over there. It's really cool. I like the coated blade. Just a, a really good aesthetic knife and a great everyday carry. Slim profile. It'll disappear in your pocket. Really like what TJ's bringing to the party and uh, happy to be, have a couple more of his designs. I'll have another one we can show off later with a new deadbolt lock. Another one of our designers that we've had uh, sort of in our, our lineup for a long time, Brian Ty. He's had his fighter models out for a long time. I've been drooling over them, seeing his customs at Blade Show and the like, but just a little bit outside of my price range. So we were finally able to make the fighter. This is the BT fighter. Um, you can just tell right off the fact that this is a Brian Ty. There's no doubt about it. His kind of designs, he's got a real, a real eye for complex uh, machining. And you can see the touches here. If you go look at his fighter models, they look exactly like this. They're all glass reinforced nylon handle, a simple button lock, and on our IKBS makes us a really fidgety knife. I really have enjoyed just playing that with the with this blade and get it with all your different fingers. You're trying to do the five finger challenge. Oh, almost had it. You'll have to forgive me. But anyway, it's just a really fun fidgety knife to play with opens really smoothly and goes back into its home real simply so it's a really fun really strong design we have it in the large size with that large tonto 
We also have it in the smaller size as well. Really cool pocket clip on the back. It's got these kind of standoffs that raise up the pocket clip. We have that little ball bearing there, so it goes over really any size pocket material really simply. It won't tear up your pocket, which I really like. I really like that feature, and I hope to see that on more clips, not just Brian Tynes. I really like that feature. So both of those, small one will retail for $69.99, larger one, $79.99. Cool Brian Tynes design. Now, this is probably one of my favorites of the year. The Minimalist series by Alan Folt has been just a staple of the CRKT line. It's one of our best neck knives and one of the best neck knives out there. So what we decided to do is make a little play on it and come out with a cleaver option. Alan actually was talking to his, uh, I believe his Facebook group and asking them what they wanted to see. And cleaver was number one. So I, I was really excited to come see this. Um, a little touches here, you can see the hole, which has sort of a touch back to the modern, the, the classic cleaver style where you can hang it, but all the same sort of green micarta you would know on the originals. A little uh, loop on the back here with a lanyard to give you a little bit extra grip. But really what minimalists do, do well, these little finger grooves give you excellent traction. Even with larger hands, this small knife offers huge utility. And you're gonna get that a lot. You're never going to break that tip off. It's just basically like a worn cliff with a reinforced tip. That's a great way to look at it. And just a really cool, fun design. Comes in this traditional uh, minimalist style neck knife uh, uh, style sheath, and you can also mount it any way you like to carry it. I was really excited. I was really excited to have another one of the Allen Foles designs, and I hope we have more. Speaking of which, that was retailing for $39.99, by the way. We came out with this. This is the Bowie Gears. So the Bowie design is probably our best selling of the Minimalist uh, line. And recently, Alan Foltz has only been selling bright colored customs. So we decided to play on that and go with this bright green material on the scales as well as on the sheath. These glow in the dark, so just a really cool, fun, bright color. Then we have this gear pattern that goes along the blade. That's actually 3D printed onto the blade. It's a really tough material. I've been doing a lot of plunge tests on there to make sure it'll stand up to uh, the rigors of everyday use, and it's got no problem. So not only are you getting a cool aesthetic, but it's tough and gives the knife a little bit of character. So I imagine we'll be seeing a lot more of this as Alan kind of continues to use it in his custom designs. So it comes in a bright green sheath as well. That also glows in the dark. It's a lot of fun. I, I love the Minimalist series and I'm hoping we'll see a whole lot more of these in the future. This retails at $39.99. Moving on to uh, the Lurches. We work a lot with Matthew and MJ Lurch. This is a Matthew design. This is the full throttle. Um, real kind of simple, smaller knife. Uh, polished G10 up front. Provides really good traction. I'll be aesthetically pleasing. Um, I love the tilted forward design of the blade. Really wants to go towards the cut. This is an assisted knife. As most of Matthew's designs that we do uh, are assisted. So real snappy open. Deep carry pocket clip along the back. It's got that metal metal design. We've been really trying to make it so it's easy in and out of your pocket. That's a big pet peeve of mine. And I want to make sure that this knife goes in and out smoothly. And this one does it really well. So that's uh, the Full Throttle by Matthew Lurch, retailing at $69.99. Nice. And we'll be moving at, uh, we'll be moving along to uh, the Burnout. This is an MJ Lurch design. So she went along and she really, what she was really trying to accomplish here is have a lot of curves. And you can see it's all sorts of just really cool curves on this knife. You have G10 with a, with a um, carbon fiber overlay. I love how they did the machining here to give it a little bit of a relief on the handle. It's really aesthetically pleasing. The knife fits really well in your hand. I love the little thumb ramp with uh, with that jimping. Gives you good control over the bigger blade. It's also assisted, so real snappy open. Again, deep carry pocket clip along the back there. And metal on metal design with a frame lock. Or, uh, yeah, so just a really simple design and really like to see MJ's design and hopefully we'll get more from her. We're going to move on to something. CRKT has been known a lot for innovation. I'm sure you've been familiar with the kinematic design of the Provoke, our field strip and deadbolt. This one you might be, this is a little bit of a blast from the past. This has our glide lock. This is a Psyche designed by Ken Steigervault. The Psyche uh, has the, the the glide lock is kind of a unique feature. You actually have to push that button down, you push up that bolster there, rotate the bolster around, and then 
lock it down, and now the knife is locked for use. So it's extremely fidgety. Uh, traditional dagger design, the back is not sharpened, it's only sharpened on one side. We have a false edge running along the top. Um, full G10 along here, kind of a coffin design, and interesting little pocket clip with a little skull face there popping out at you. But just really fun to open and close. We did glide locks really back in the day. I, I found a couple in our, in our archives, but they're small and they're really fun to play with. So it's just kind of a unique mechanism and really really encompasses what CRKT likes to do. We'll take a risk on a fun new design and you end up with a really cool knife like this. And it's kind of a fun, different design and fidgety. That's the Psych by Ken Staggerwald. Retails at $99.99. We've also done quite a few different tactical pens over the years. This is an interesting one. Uh, first time working with Mike Bond. This is what we're calling the, the tick liner. The big party piece here is that the, actually the cap here is magnetic. So it sinks right there on the knife, or the, the pen, excuse me, when you're, uh, when you're ready to cap it off. It also goes right there along the back. So to store the cap right there. We have a Fisher Space pen in here, so you find yourself upside down in writing in grease underwater or in the void of space. This will still write. So a really cool, good writing pen. It's just a really pleasant pen to write with as well. But just a really cool uh, design with that, uh, those rare earth magnets. And you can just stick it to your work box if you're not using it. You stick it right onto anything that's got a heavy enough metal and it'll stay where you want it. So that's kind of a cool, fun design from, T, uh, from Mike Bond. I'm really excited to get that one. I was really, I really liked his custom designs that are usually done in anodized titanium. I was excited to have a more affordable option. This comes in at $49.99. Cool. So, shift over to Deadpool. Awesome. So you guys have a bunch of new product this year. Man, I, we generally come out with like 30 to 40 new knives every year. And we'll probably have a couple mid-year as well. Just a lot of knives with a lot of designers. We want to make sure everybody gets, uh, gets their time to shine. So as I'm sure you are all familiar, our Provoke was a karambit that we came out with last year. Joe Caswell Designs really kind of solves a lot of the shortcomings of traditional folding karambits, and it's just fun and fidgety. So this is the original Provoke we came out with last year. We're also excited to come out with this year a Cerakoted model. So this is the, uh, the Provoke Earth. So you can see the Cerakoted options here on the blade as well as the frame. This gives it a little bit of character. We also have a uh, all white and black design. If you want to see that, it's on our website. It's a website exclusive. So feel free to check that out, but I think it's gonna open up a lot of different options for the Provoke to be kind of customized. You come out with different colors to match your kit, your loadout, the pocket dump picture, whatever you wanna do with it. One of the cooler innovations I think we came out with this year, this is gonna look very similar to the original, except if you look right there, there's a small ceramic bead. So we talked to a lot of our LE um, law enforcement partners, and one of the things they were requesting was a glass breaker. So we mounted a small ceramic bead up there. It's very unobtrusive, but if you take this and you skate along the corner of a car window, it'll bust it right out. Another cool thing about this model is it'll come with a provoked sheath right off the bat, as well as two mounting options, a tech lock, as well as a lock for Molly setup. So however you like to carry your Provoke, uh, it'll come with it right off the bat. Great value, and I think just having that ceramic bead there is worth it all the time. This, uh, this one here is featuring our Beth serrations. Uh, our local edgeologist, as he's referred to, Tom Beth, very proud of his serrations, and they're some of the best out there. The Beth serrations really rip through cordage quickly. Um, and just look really cool doing it. So we have it on our, a lot of our M16 series. Hang on and, a sec, it, sorry, it's not focusing uh, on the knife at all. Sorry, I'm fidgeting around too much, maybe. All right, there we go. Got it. I think so. All right, there we go. So you can see all the best serrations there. It's really wicked serrations, really tear through cordage well. And uh, it's a kind of a staple of uh, CRKT, so why not put it on Provoke? Really cool. Last year, we also uh, introduced a new locking mechanism from Flavio Icoma, the deadbolt lock, which is simple, safe, and strong. We think this is one of the strongest locks on the market with a couple of pins that go through the liner, the blade, and the liner. It's also just really simple to use by pushing on the center pivot there. The blade closes and opens and keeps your fingers out of the way. So you can hand this knife to somebody who doesn't know knives. 
it's so there's they find it so much easier than a liner lock or a frame lock. So just a really cool design that encompasses everything you could really need or want in a locking mechanism. What was cool about this here is we took an old design that we found in um, Kit Carson's lineup. You're all familiar with Kit Carson because of the M16. So we went to the archives and we found the M40. So we got a fuse, a cool Kit Carson design with a brand new Flavio Icola lock. And I think that's what it would CRK2 does really well. So we need to take a couple of the best designers in the world and combine their uh, designs into one really cool knife. This knife comes in three sizes. This is the M40-02. You have the M40-03 and the M40-15. So whatever size you're looking for, it's kind of exciting that we have two sizes of deadbolt now. You have the smaller size all the way up to the larger size, which you guys got to see last year. So something a little bit smaller if you want something that's more EDC friendly, or something that's a little bit larger for more utility. Could it come around to the other side here? It's easier. Another really cool feature that I don't think people point out enough here is there's a really small Torx, uh, Torx uh, screw right there. What that does is it adjusts the detent. Traditionally, we've all been there, adjusting your pivot. You go just a little bit too far, now your knife doesn't open. You go the other way, now you're getting misalignment problems. But with this, if you adjust that little screw right there, it actually puts pressure on a leaf spring, and that's gonna adjust your detent. So if you want it looser, you can loosen it up and the blade will open a lot simpler. Or if you want it cranked down, crank it down. Really simple. And the whole knife still stays integral and uh, locked up, so you don't have to change anything. You're not gonna affect where the, where the blade kind of goes into the frame. It's a really cool design. Flavio did a really great job, and I'm excited to see that on more knives. Speaking of Flavio, here's a Flavio design knife with, uh, with deadbolt. This is the linchpin. Much larger knife, more utilitarian. Um, just really has kind of Flavio sort of sense for style and utility. It's a really big, strong working knife. Featuring our big deadbolt, the larger deadbolt size, flipper opening, also with the thumb stud that works well. Simple, small pocket clip on the back. Really exemplifies the large uh, strength that the, 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 the deadbolt will offer you. So just a larger design, um, similar to some of the designs that came out with last year, but just really large and also comes with the serrations. So if you prefer a model with serrations, we have both or just a regular straight edge. Both designs. This one retails for 135 and this one retails at 145 It's a linchpin, a Flavio Icoma. I touched on earlier too that we had another TJ Schwartz design and this is a really unique design. It's featuring a small deadbolt on a large knife, which is a great way to use it really opens and closes well. But what TJ kind of decided to do is the deadbolt packs all the lock into this area, we decided to make a cord paracord wrap folding knife. We think this is the first paracord wrap knife that we can do on both sides. Because the deadbolt is all up here, the paracord wraps don't get in the way of a liner or a frame lock. So you can take this knife and you can customize it yourself, but on your own, a uh, different type of paracord and it just kind of loops around like a shoelace. We'll have a video featuring TJ showing how to do it, but put whatever color on there. There's a whole world of paracord wrapping out on the internet and as I'm sure you've seen, so I'm excited to see how people kind of make this their own. I have one I did up here, more of a two-tone, so I got that kind of kind of a tiger stripe camo going there with that two-tone green and black which is kind of a fun knife and I think a really good use of that deadbolt lock. So, really cool idea by TJ and it's a, yeah, it's a really fun, simple design. Go out, make it your own. We've got a couple more over here. I'll be done, I'm almost done. So M16, one of the classics lines by Kit Carson for CRKT. It's a huge line of folding knives. We have a fixed blade now. This is the M16-13FX. So uh, we decided to try and take uh, the M16 design, translate it to a fixed blade, and you can see all the DNA here. The whole patterns that lighten up the blade, the dual helps to keep your hand from sliding forward. It's a very thin blade. It's gonna carry very inconspicuous, but it's very thick. This is made of SK5 steel, so it's very, um, it's a really tough kind of carbon steel that we powder coated as well to keep it from rusting. Vef serrations for tearing through cordage. Just a really cool play and 
yet another cool addition to the M16 line. Um, now our servicemen and women across the or across the globe rather carry the M16. It's very popular. We are very excited to be able to offer them a fixed blade version. From our Forge by War line, a really cool uh, program that we work with veterans, allow them to design a knife um, that they wish when they had there and deployed or something that they want to wish now. This is the Shalotl, designed by Michael Rodriguez. Um, just a really cool dagger style blade, false edge on top, um, dual hilts along the bottom. Um, very, a lot of like a symbolism here too. All of these ribs are for a, a year of his service, I believe, and, and uh, just a really cool modern design. Uh, Michael spends a lot of his time now hobnobbing in Washington, D.C., talking with politicians. So he wanted to design a knife that would look good with a suit. And I think this is a little bit more dressy of a knife. A really cool, kind of sharp point to crusher on the back. A knife that's really aesthetically pleasing and design oriented. It's also ready for business if you need it. So it's a really cool design with the Shiloto left and right-handed carry and a portion of the proceeds will go to a charity of the designer's choice, which is a cool, cool part of our Forged by War program. Another addition to the Forged by War line, this is a Darren Saroy knife. This is called the Zan. Um, just a really cool, unique design. Darren's a really interesting guy, really hard worker. He has a lot of time to, he designs a lot of really cool knives and uh, recently he's been in, getting into building violins, which is just really interesting. The Zan is assisted opening, so real snappy. That faux uh, carbon fiber pattern on the front gives excellent grip. Really cool pocket clip. I love how it kind of widens out at the front there. It slides over your pants and tan material really smooth and easily. Simple frame lock here, thumb stud opening, just a knife that's really meant for work, just like uh, the guy who designed it. So that's a Darren Saroy Zan. That's pretty much it. That's our 2020 lineup. Awesome. <laughs> well, Bryce, thank you so much for talking with us. Appreciate the time. Thanks for uh, uh, your support here. And we'll uh, see some discussions on Blade Forums about it. I'm on there all the time, so awesome. I'm excited to see him. Give well, us stop, feedback. Stop lurking. Start practicing. That's what I know. All right. I, uh, have a good one, man. Thanks, guys. So much. Thank you.